Everybody who played Minecraft has used a crafting table. You know, it's kind of essential part of Minecraft. But how does it work behind all the UI? Let's find out together. Oh, and as a bonus, I'll try to create similar crafting system using techniques from Minecraft in 24 hours. Let's go! Minecraft has a lot of recipes. Let's look at some of them and their data structure. Data is stored in JSON format, which looks like this. First, we see a type. All recipes fall into two categories, shapeless and shaped. Shapeless are your wanted recipes, for example wood. It doesn't matter where you put it, you still get planks. Now let's look at more complicated, shaped recipes. Think shears, sticks or anything that needs to have items positioned in a certain way. That way is defined in the pattern attribute. The recipe pattern for sticks is defined like this. We can find the characters in the key attribute. Here we can see the pound character means planks. So the pattern now tells us to place two planks directly below each other. What we get from the recipe is defined in the result attribute. Here we get four sticks. Now that we have basic understanding of recipes, let's start building the game and look at the main star of the show, the crafting table. Ok, we can move, aim and we have this pointless cube right here. Let's add some logic. We can cast Ray from our character to the direction he is looking at every time he presses E with this function. Then I design basic UI with 9 buttons and trigger it when you interact with the box. I made it when you click these buttons you cycle through the items because there is no inventory at the moment. Now the part where I failed the 24 hour challenge. Yep. I did fail it, the crafting table algorithm. Let's imagine the UI. The recipe suggested that we should divide the crafting table into three rows and each row will include three characters representing every slot. Well good. Take the crafting recipe of pickaxe for example and just check if it equals our definition of crafting table. And we are done. Or are we? No. <coughs> No, we are not. This would work if every recipe was defined with all the characters and rows, but we know they aren't. Take the sticks. Two slabs below each other, no matter where. Most of the people who tried to recreate the crafting table were just modifying the recipe like this, so only one combination works, but I didn't want to settle. I spent quite some time thinking and trying different ideas, but finally found something that could work quite well. Let's take this position. To get a recipe, we can simply remove empty rows and columns and voila! This will work for basically any item, only one small flaw though. <coughs> After finding this bug, I started thinking of different methods of solving this, but finally we came back to the removing empty rows and columns with one small modification. I only removed the middle row where there weren't any items on the left and right of it. Let's see if this works. Okay, looks like it does. Simple crafting table is now done. Thanks for watching, subscribe and bye.